Welcome back, everybody. I'm Big Mac Davis here. And welcome back. I said that twice. But this is my Doom 2 100% walkthrough for the PC. Played through Z Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty. This is Map 20. Gotcha! I'd like to give a shout out to Alpha 3 ish of YouTube. He will be starting his own videos shortly. So go check that out in the description below. Anyways, let's get to the video now. Alright, there's a shotgunner in front of you, and a couple of enemies behind you. And so now we'll go through the door that we faced when we started, and we'll kill some more enemies. Now inside here, do not go past the torches just yet. Just wait patiently for two imps to appear. And so now we're set to go past the torches to reveal a cyber demon and a spider mastermind. Get them both to infight with each other. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen, who will win this fight? Who will be crowned the ultimate boss of doom? Because both of them are indeed bosses of doom, but who is the ultimate one? I always vote for the Cyber Demon because he most likely will win, but you never know. We'll just have to find out. It's the Cyber Demon, everybody. He is the ultimate villain of Doom. Now, I always fight whoever wins the fight down below in this pit. Now, about the items and the switch up top, we'll get to that later on. For right now, we'll go to the other side and grab this soul sphere right here. And now we'll go back and go back up the lift. And then go back through the door we used to get to this room. And we'll come back to this room later on. Now, about this building, there's blood all around but there's a circular platform down below. You have to land on top of it to reveal it, and then go to the other side of it. Now when you open up this door, there's a chain gunner on the upper alcove on the left. And so now we'll just explore this room for the items, and then we'll ride the door up to the top because we want to grab the items from the upper alcove. So now we'll exit back out, face the door, and then go left inside this pit, and grab the radiation suit. We'll follow the Blood River down to the other side, to this teleporter, which will take us back to the starting area. Face the door, and then drop in the pit on the right side of the door, and then go through here. Now this area can be pretty dangerous. You are in a cramped space with a Hell Knight. Be careful of this area. Now, you have to shoot the wall right here to open it up, which I already did. So, yeah. Now from here, you can snipe some enemies off if you want to and then drop down into the lava down below, and then run to the right side of the lava and grab another soul sphere, and then run back to the left. Lower down this lift and ride the lift up. Now, I'd like to have the chainsaw for this next part. I find it much easier. If you end up missing that lift, just walk backwards and wait for the lift to, to re-lower. Basically, just repeat the pattern for all of these lifts. Kill the enemies, and ride the lift up. Now, grab the Berserk, but do not take the teleporter. Open the wall to the left of the teleporter, and enter the secret area. And take the Silver Teleporter. You will telefrag a Pain Elemental, which is always a good thing. This platform will lower down, and you can kill some enemies from there. Now, drop off the platform, enter this alcove in the blood, and use this alcove as a hold point for the cacodemons. 
There are two to three of them, so make sure you kill the... Wow, he shot me through the chain gun shots. That's rare. And where's the other one? There's, I saw one more cacodemon. Press the switch to re-lower that platform and ride that platform up. He must be hiding. Great. Whoa, what shot me? There you are, finally. Okay, we'll drop back off, grab the radiation suit, and then flip the switch to re-lower the platform and ride the platform back up top again. Now see this circular ring that surrounds us. Run to get on top of it. See this cobblestone building across the blood? Go to the right side of it and enter the alcove with the golden heads right there, and then go up the stairs. Now we'll take this teleporter. We'll press the switch to raise this up, and this area is unfair, because it has enemies circling you all around it. So be careful of that. Grab the BFG from this open wall. Flip the switch, it will reveal a teleporter with a soul sphere behind it. To the right of that teleporter is a secret area. Just keep going through the walls until you get the soul sphere. But be careful! Archvile behind the soul sphere. And so now we'll reflip the switch and take the teleporter. Wow, we telefragged a lost soul. Here comes the third Cacodemon. There are three of them, and you want to make sure you at least kill all three of them in this map in total. This is one thing I don't like about this map, is the wandering enemies. Along this ring, there are two staircases. Take either one up, but be careful of the live arch vial up there. I just use rockets on him. There's also a Baron up here as well. Just be very careful of that Archvile, like I said. He is in a dangerous position. Now this door will take us back... Well, good thing I went back here. Will take us back to this area with the dead enemies. Now we'll grab the items from up top. Now this switch will open up a little alcove right there with some rockets. It's not a secret, but you know, rockets are always nice and tasty. So now we'll go back through that door and back to where we killed that arch vial from earlier. We'll go back down either staircase and take the Baphomet teleporter. Now, up in this area, walk down the stairs a little bit, but then turn right from the stairs and fall into this pit. Take the teleporter quickly, and then grab the items from up here. I like to equip my plasma gun when I drop back down to the stairs, because down below in this darkened alcove, kill this pain elemental. He's very painful. Now we'll back up to get a running start and run through into the darkened alcove. Now when you step in the lighted portion where the armor is, some chain gunners will be revealed. There is a secret inside here, but we'll grab that later on, and you'll see when. For right now, we'll take this teleporter. Now this area is very unfair. You have to hope you don't get hit, Wow, I didn't even get hit. That's very new to me. <laughs> anyway, when you walk up to this ledge, that will lower down. I like to wait till it's all the way lowered because that red spot on that platform is a, po um, is a damaging floor. Kind of unfair. So wait for it to lower all the way, then run forward into this opening. When you cross over here, you are sealed inside. This room is very dangerous. Pay attention. Kill the imp before going up the stairs. I like to run backwards up the stairs with the BFG because of this right here. 
very, very dangerous area. Just one BFG shot is usually enough to kill most everybody, and then just kill everybody else with, you know, with the super shotgun. Now enter into this area, and it will raise this up, but you are not trapped, don't worry. Just flip the switch to re-lower it. Now see that um, energy cell up on that platform. Get onto this ledge, carefully go over to the edge of it, wait for it to raise up, and then grab it. But don't wait for too long, otherwise you will be crushed by that. No fun. No fun indeed. Go up the stairs, grab the plasma from up here. Go back down the stairs, then face the stairs, and then turn right and open up this electrical panel for another soul sphere. Good gracious. Go back down the hall, we find a teleporter. Do not move in this room unless you have to. I like to kill the enemies that are in front of me for right now. There are additional enemies that will be woken up if you step forward. I do not want that to happen right now. When you are ready, you can step out into the opening and look to the left in the upper alcove up there. I fire like six rockets because there's a pain elemental that I want dead right now. There is also a large handful of cacodemons in that upper darkened alcove. Make sure they all die. This room is not that hard if you take it slowly like I did. And then just grab up the items that are around this area. There are a few items. And then there's one more trap. When you go up the stairs, look to the right side. And it will open up a wall right there. Fire your rockets quickly. And I heard somebody teleport. Yeah, it was the imp. There was an imp inside of this room too and he teleported. We'll get to that later on. We'll go back up the stairs and fight these enemies now. I used the rockets on these far away revenants and chain gunner. And everybody's dead, so that's the exit teleporter. We'll get to that later on. For right now, there's some items on the torch platforms that you can systematically get if you want them, which I would recommend getting. Because, you know, ammo is always nice. Okay, and now we'll go back up the stairs to open that wall and go through the teleporter. Yep, there's the imp. Stupid imp. Okay, there's one more secret to get. I almost missed it. We'll go back into the... What? Oh my gosh. Good thing I heard someone growling. I would have missed him. We'll go back through the Baphomet teleporter now. Go back down these stairs into the darkened alcove. Now, just before the lighted part of this alcove with the armor, turn left from the lighted alcove and enter into this area with some rockets and an additional teleporter. Megasphere! We'll drop back down to the ring, go back through the Baphomet teleporter, you know the drill, just backtrack to where you were. Go back through this teleporter, though. Go through this teleporter now. And then finally we're done. There is the entrance to hell. Yes, folks, the entrance to hell. And that was Gotcha. Obviously, most likely the map is named after the fact that you can lower the Cyber Demon and the Spider Mastermind. It's like, I gotcha. But then you can get the enemies to infight with each other, which is always just so much fun to do. I always like to do that. It's what makes this map worthwhile for me, in my opinion. I'd say most likely 60 to 65% of the time, the Cyber Demon will win the fight, and that's just because he has more health to spare than the Mastermind does. But sometimes the Mastermind will win. 
sometimes it will happen. Now, about this map. I do enjoy this map. I like the unique layout. I like the open environment. I like the secrets. I like the style of this map. But there are some negatives to it. For one thing, it is wide open, with a lot of teleporters, and sometimes the flying enemies like the Cacodemons and the Lost Souls can go through these teleporters and go through the entire map and be everywhere in this map, which can make killing everybody a big chore, because if you're missing kills, you have to go hunt them down. But overall, that negative is overshadowed by the positives of this map. I love Gotcha. We'll move on to the next map, Nirvana, map 21. But first, we have a story. You are at the corrupt heart of the city, surrounded by the corpses of your enemies. You see no way to destroy the creature's entryway on this side, so you clench your teeth and plunge through it. There must be a way to close it on the other side. What do you care if you've got to go through hell to get to it? Well, we have to get through hell to get to it. I'll see you guys in Nirvana, map 21. We are now in hell. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.